this. All right. So question number one is write down four types of stakeholders for a company. Can you sit in the back row next to Ron? So right, you are on the same team. So just one person needs to write down. You discuss with other people on your team. So it's better if you sit next to them so you can discuss. You sit here and discuss, check the answers together. Okay. So one of the points of this is you have time to check your answer. Okay, and also. So you, also the point is you can discuss. If you explain, it helps you to remember better in the future. If you don't know the answer, you can learn by the other person explaining or telling you the answer. So both people can benefit. So if you know the answer, you should explain, tell your partner the answer. So the next question, question number two. According to Milton Friedman, why shouldn't managers be responsible for social problems? According to Milton Friedman, or the uh, thinking of uh, neoclassical economics, why shouldn't managers be responsible for social problems? He says managers should not be responsible for social problems. Why not? Yeah. You can sit over here and make a team of four people. This thing here. Okay, question number three. What is stakeholder management? Question number one was give four types of stakeholders of the company. Number two was uh, why shouldn't managers be responsible for social issues, according to Mr. Friedman. Number three, what is stakeholder management?
right. Uh, the next question, question number four. What kind of claims could an, an NGO have on a company? answer for that question, right? The rest of the team can move on. So the next question is, uh, give an example of a professional writing. Start 
examples of something we should include in our ethics vision statement. So we need to make ethics vision statement for our company. What two things should be included in this statement? At least two things. We should be written in the ethics vision statement.
Show your answers to the other people and see if they have anything to add. Yeah. Chris, yes. Are you going to upload the video file? Yes. Well then write your team name on your page. Is uh, team A, team B, team C, team D. Then you're about to correct the answer. So give your give the page to the other team. Give your page to the other team. Now let's check the answer. Did everybody swap the page? Okay, so this is question 10. Let's start with question 10 and move back. <clears throat> so two of these things. Okay, say that the company's long-term success is linked to ethical conduct. Say the importance of the stakeholders. Mention some character traits that you think is important. Okay, you're not starting your own religion, but it's your company, so you can decide what character traits are important in your company. Say that the CEO is committed to the ethics program. So you should mention all of those things. In the vision statement, so just you should understand what a vision statement is. You don't have to memorize all four of them. If you understand what an ethics vision statement is, then you should know that you need to include character traits and long-term success company. There. Okay, is linked to ethics. So question number Nine, uh, vice virtue in excess, generous virtue, stingy mean vice, wasting money excess, excess doing things too much, virtue just right, vice too little, vice coward, virtue brave, excess reckless. Okay. Uh, Employees have a right to meaningful work. Right? They have other rights too. This is just one example. Managers have a duty to ensure that decisions about promotion and demotion are related to job performance. Okay, do you have any questions about this one? That's a team wrote down and you're not sure. The duty the managers have or the rights the workers have. Negative and positive duty. This is question number seven. Uh, negative duty, respect a person's freedom of speech. So negative means just you're not doing any action. You're, stop, you're not stopping people from speaking. Positive, you have to do something. So protecting somebody whose rights are being violated. So for example, the police protect people who are demonstrating. This was how one of the reasons Hitler got his power. So people were not being protected at demonstrations. Hitler sent, had some private army. He used to call the SS, stormtrooper. He used to send to the demonstrations to beat people, stop them from demonstrating. So we need to have some positive action. We need to protect people who are demonstrating. Otherwise, we can end up with a dictator. Next uh, one. Uh, professional rights. We gave give an example of professional rights. Question number six. So a code of behavior for professional footballers. Uh, for example. 
Mm -hmm. <coughs> Footballers have to act in a certain way, mm -hmm. right? Because they're example for the young boys and girls. Do you have any questions about this one? In marketing, they shouldn't uh, give false information, for example. Lawyers, confidentiality, or doctors, confidentiality, shouldn't tell the people, people's problems to somebody else. Two steps of stakeholder management. Question five, help all stakeholders by understanding and meeting their claims. Help mutual stakeholders by developing their capabilities. That is stakeholder, two steps in stakeholder management. What kind of claim could an NGO have? They could complain about environmental degradation or global warming or animal testing. This kind of claim to the company. You're making too much CO2, right? You're putting chemicals in the river. You're testing on animals. What is stakeholder management? This is basically Managers are identifying and aligning. Aligning means putting together the interests of a wide, wide range of individuals and groups. Why shouldn't managers be responsible for social problems, according to Friedman? They don't have any training or expertise in that area. He thinks they're, they're trained to do something else, not to solve the world's social problems. Stakeholders for company, suppliers, society, government, creditors, shareholders, customers, owners, managers, employees. So you need to write down four of those names. Okay, so correct the team. Give back the page to the team. And then just let me know how many points did each team get. If you have any questions, then ask me.
What is the main difference between strategic action and communicative action? What is the main difference between strategic action and communicative action? What is corporate governance? Question number three. What is corporate governance? <clears throat> can you look for the exact definition? Or you, if you understand, you can just write your own way in English. You should understand we talked a lot about corporate governance, right? What is corporate governance? What is the difference between humanistic leadership and transactional leadership? So we looked at in network governance. Right? What is the difference between humanistic leadership and transactional leadership? Transactional, like transactions. You do this, I'll do that. 
Give an example of a voluntary uh, standard that companies can use to improve their CSR. So we're talking about CSR. So we look at some voluntary standards. So just give an example of one voluntary standard that companies can use to be more socially responsible companies. Not required by law, voluntary standard. Thank you. 
Question number nine, what is neoliberal market globalization? Big word. What is neoliberal market globalization? It was University of Chicago in the 80s. minute just to discuss with your team and check some answers. Show the answers to the rest of your team. Do they have any suggestions? Do they agree with the answer? Do they have anything else to add? generally in easy English what the national champion is, then that's okay. So basically the government decides, the government decides to, to make this corporation some special treatment because it's promising enterprise and they think it can be competitive internationally, right? Because these days we live in a global market, so companies have to be able to compete internationally. So the government will give it some special help, like for example technology or more love cheap loans or funding or bailouts. <clears throat> what is neoliberal market globalism? Key word here is deregulation. Right? Do you understand deregulation? Yes. Reducing regulation for corporate section. Another key word, privatization. 
why IMF likes privatization to currently increase their privatizing to companies. So some economists from the University of Chicago go to work for the IMF. Okay, they have this idea. Uh, tax reductions for business, that kind of thing. Uh, how can we get less CO2 in the environment? Energy efficiency, electrification, using more electricity, low carbon electricity. Okay, there's two of those. The HDI uses GDP or income, and then some indicator from health and indicator from education. So, for example, years of schooling, or third level graduation rate, or second level graduation rate, and health, like life expectancy, how long are number of babies that die before they're five, have those kind of indicators. So health, educational, and income. Uh, there are, here are some voluntary standards, there are more. The ISO 1400 for the environment, UN Global Compact, Global Reporting Initiative, OECD Guidelines for Multinational Enterprises, UN Principles of Responsible Investment. We have many NGOs that have their own standards, like Forestry, Camp Forestry Council, or that kind of thing. Or you could also have brought in here Carbon Disclosure Project for carbon. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between transactional and humanistic leadership? Transactional leaders make goals and incentives and then make punishment if you don't do it. Okay? So they, they, they try to control the employee by making some goal and giving some punishment. Carrot and stick. Humanistic leaders, they believe people are self-motivated, that people want to grow themselves. So they want to include people in decision making in the company. So here they tell them what to do, punish them. Here they want them to decide themselves what to do. Okay, next question. Uh, the board of directors, they don't spend enough time at the company. And uh, they may be CEOs in other companies. There are just two reasons. Other reasons are that they don't have the expertise in that area. Okay, they're not experts in the area. They don't spend enough time, they don't have access to information. Okay, we can have groupthink problem. What is corporate governance? This is just the system to monitor the managers. Okay? Managers are working for the owners. You need some systems to monitor the managers. Corporate governance. Uh, what is the difference between strategic and communicative action? Strategic action, we make inducements like, I'll give you this, or we make threats. If you don't do this, I will do this, okay? Communicative action is we discuss, discussing to reach mutual understanding. So I don't, this is the proper definition, but I don't expect you to memorize this and write that word for word in the test. If you have a photographic memory, you're able to do that, okay? So there, this is not the only correct answer, do you understand? So don't go and memorize all of these questions and answers. That's not the way to study for the test. Okay, the way to study for the test is to look back, do the readings, if we have some reading, and try to understand the idea. Okay, if you understand the idea of the difference between strategic and communicative action, you don't need to memorize it. If you understand it, yes. you can write that in your own words. Okay? Uh, we have consequentialists and deontology. So this is rights. So some people think moral philosophy is based on rights. Okay? He, ha I, he has the right to life, so I shouldn't push him off the bridge. Other people think about the consequences. But if we push him off the bridge, we can save five people. So the consequences are better. They are the two main ones. Okay, so then correct your team's work and tell me the answer. Then we'll this is the end of the quiz, so I'll put this on the geisha pan later. Okay? It gives you an idea of the style of questions which will be on the exam.